Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to call get request using a HTTP client. As per the screenshot, you can see at the end we will be able to call get request and we'll change the view for mobile. So let's start. Let's open IntelliJ IDEA. As I said in the last video, like in the next video we will import the project as a maven. Click on cancel button so we can import again. Click on the close icon. See no project available. Now let's import the project as a maven. So instead of default selection now select a second radio button and under that select maven. Now follow the step. Project importing. Project imported successfully. See project structure is perfect now. Now let's open Angular 2 folders and terminal. And run the project using ng-serve. See compiled successfully. Let's open in browser. See it's working. Everything is working as expected. See mobile view also perfect, whatever you are seeing now that we developed in past 5 videos so if you are interested then you can watch, playlist link is in description. Now let's open application class. Now let's run this as Java application. See server started. Let's open readme file. See here are the request URLs. Let's open the get URL. See it's working and giving one result also that we added using command line runner that code we saw in the application class. Now let's see how are we going to implement REST service call from Angular. First, let's open app module TS file. Now let's add HTTP client module. And it's a part of common HTTP package. Add same in imports array also. That's it for this file. Now we need to create service type script class and that we will create under book component. Let's open book folder in terminal. So here is the command to generate service class. The command is like ng generate service book. See two files created. Now let's open book service ts file. We need to import this service in the module also. Let's add. Same we need to add in providers also. So here is the common question about providers. Why do we use providers in Angular? Providers are classes that create and manage service objects the first time that Angular needs to resolve a dependency. Providers are used to registering the classes to an Angular module as a service. And then, these service classes can be used by other components during its self-creation phase in the module. A provider is an instruction to the dependency injection system on how to obtain a value for a dependency. Most of the time, these dependencies are services that you create and provide. By default, it provided in at root level. But if you want you can change this to your module. See here are many things we need to explore, those you can check by your own. Now let's import HTTP client. Add same in the constructor. Create one variable which will keep book rest API service URL.
See this is the book class which we create so whatever response is coming from git we will hold that in book objects. Let's import book. Let's create a simple method let's say get books. It's very simple. HTTP client has a method and the method name is git and which expects one parameter which is nothing but the URL. This HTTP get method returns observable and which is a part of RxJS package. So we need to add RxJS package also, but before that let's see what is RxJS. The RxJS library, reactive programming is an asynchronous programming paradigm concerned with data streams and the propagation of change. RxJS, Reactive Extensions for JavaScript, is a library for reactive programming using observables that makes it easier to compose asynchronous or callback base code. See here are many things we need to explore, those you can check by your own. So first stop the server. Now execute the CLI command like npm install save RxJS compat. Installed successfully. Now get books method will return observable objects. We need to import observable also. Observables. Observables provide support for passing messages between publishers and subscribers in your application. Observables offer significant benefits over other techniques for event handling, asynchronous programming, and handling multiple values. Observables are declarative, that is, you define a function for publishing values, but it is not executed until a consumer subscribes to it. The subscribed consumer then receives notifications until the function completes or until they unsubscribe. An observable can deliver multiple values of any type, literals, messages, or events, depending on the context. The API for receiving values is the same whether the values are delivered synchronously or asynchronously. Because setup and tear down logic are both handled by the observable, your application code only needs to worry about subscribing to consume values, and when done, unsubscribing. Whether the stream was keystrokes, an HTTP response or an interval timer, the interface for listening to values and stopping listening is the same. Because of these advantages, observables are used extensively within Angular and are recommended for app development as well. See here are many things we need to explore, those you can check by your own. Now let's open book list components and book list HTML files. Declare one variable which can hold books related data. Need to import this book class. Now we are going to make a call from component to service so need to import book service also. Add book service in a constructor. Now let's create a new method for get book service which will return void. Now let's call book service get books method. Now if you remember we return an observable object or in other words we published book array so we need to subscribe it also. So now let's see how to subscribe that. So observable has a method call subscribe. Here we are assigning it to books ray using a lambda expression. I hope you understood whatever we just wrote. Now let's call this method from ng on in it. That's it for book list component. Now let's open book list HTML. Now let's see how to transform that books array into a table row. We will use ng container. What is ng container? ng container is a structural directive. If we use this directive then we don't need to add any extra element to the DOM at the runtime. See here is the example.
Now again what is a let? Let allows you to declare variables that are limited to a scope of a block statement. So the scope of let is only at the block level. Now let's add remaining changes. That's it now let's compile the project. It is giving an error because instead of HTTP client I added HTTP client module. Let's change. Compilation starts automatically. Compiled successfully. Let's check now. See still book list is not coming. Now it's a problem with the Spring Boot project. So if you observe now we are calling service from Angular 4000, so we need to add cross origin in book resource implementation class. Now pass origins as the Angular application URL. That's it. Now restart the server. Server started. Now let's try again. C1 book is coming, because we have only one in the database. Now let's add book image also. See image also is showing now. Let's add some conditions so this no books available message will not come if any data is there. See the message is not showing now. Let's add edit and delete button. See the edit and delete button is showing but functionality we will add in next video. See it's perfect now. If you observe during the execution of REST API there is no message showing. It should show some message like loading data please wait. Let's add changes for that. Create a new variable for loading message. We will show this message also like no books message. That's it. See loading message also showing. Let's change UI from the web to responsive or mobile. See here still showing an old message because we have not modified the code. Let's apply similar changes. But instead of the table, we will show card representation. See book image is showing. Let's add book data on top of this image. Don't worry it's very simple.
That's it, let's check. See it is showing correctly, I hope you like this approach. Now only one book is showing, if there are many then also it will show in a proper way, add other changes also. See it's perfect? See this is data which we are showing in table or card. Now let's review whatever changes we added, other operations like edit, save and delete we will see in next video. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these changes. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.